Hey everybody, Carl here with App, partnering with WGN, and we've, uh, we're at CES Unveil 2017. We've got Adam here from DJI. He's going to tell us all about his cool new products. Adam, what do we got? Hey, this is our Mavic Pro drone. This is, I think it's the best consumer drone you can buy out there right now. It is incredible power, a lot of autonomous flight modes, obstacle avoidance system, auto tracking systems that let you, you know, shoot your own movie with uh, even a, a limited understanding of the controls as, as you're learning how to fly. And it folds up to the size of a big water bottle. You can toss it in your bag, you can toss it in your purse, you can keep it with you so you no longer have to decide. If, if you're going on a vacation, you're taking a trip with the kids, you want to see, uh, you know, your family out doing something fun, you don't have to think, do I want to carry a big old box and I have to screw the propellers on and go through all sorts of things every time I want to fly it. It, uh, it folds up into a package this small. Boom. You, pretty much anybody's going to be able to fit this in their bag, right? That's crazy. And you know, all the propellers and everything stay attached to yep, it. Yeah, they stay attached. No, no unscrewing them or, or screwing them back on. Um, when it's like this, you can, we, we're not allowed to fly in here, but it's as simple as setting it down, setting the controller to go, and off you can fly. It's, uh, and once you're in the air, it, it, I'm talking about how easy it is to fly. I don't want to imply that you should straight out of the box not read the instructions first, but uh, we have a, we have a, it's designed for people for whom this will be their first drone. Straight out of the box, you, we have a flight simulator mode that you can practice before you ever take off. We have a beginner mode that limits your movements, so you know, you're going to lose the ability to, to fly farther out than you can control. Um, but because it is still a technology that people are getting used to, these two sensors in front here, your stereoscopic sensors, that can tell when you're getting too close to an obstacle, okay. and they'll start beeping, and eventually they'll stop so that you can't uh, you know, fly straight into something. Um, it has a return to home feature, so that if, you, if you're flying and you're feeling a little unsteady about your controls, you push the button, it comes in right for a landing where you took off. One of the really neat features, these two stereoscopic cameras underneath the drone, every, they're, they're used to help keep your uh, height above the ground. If you're flying along on, on, on a hillside, for example, you can say, I want to keep this at a consistent height above the ground. It will not turn into a very expensive shovel. It will stay at that consistent height above you. These are all the kinds of things that turn the process of flying a drone. Five years ago, you needed soldering irons and you know some basic computer coding experience. Now, you take it out of the box, you familiarize yourself with the features, you practice, and you're going to be making amazing videos to really document you know, any kind of active lifestyle that you and your family has. Um, these, these sensors on the bottom here, another fun thing that they do, and this hints at the kind of powerful processing that we have inside here, every time it takes off, it shoots a short burst of video of where it took off from. So you push the button and you say, I want it to land right where it came from. Your GPS will get you pretty close to where you took off, right. then it compares that video with what it sees on the ground below it and says, ah, and it lands within a couple of inches of where it took off. And in addition, we can't show this because we're not allowed to fly in here, but we have uh, active tracking modes. So on the controller, you say, I see this person, I see this bicycle, I see this car, I see this skateboarder, I want to follow that. And it recognizes on the screen, person, bicycle, etc. And it's, it, depending on which flight mode you choose, you can follow directly behind it. And the drone will automatically keep that in the frame. You can say, I want to I fly backwards and have that in the front of it. So you're flying from the front. You can say, I want to fly alongside and get a tracking shot like that. So if you've never flown before, or if you're wondering, would I really use a drone? This is as good as it gets for being able to immediately use it, for the fun of flying, for being able to make incredible movies of your life, to be able to take photos from images from a vantage point that you never imagined before. This is, you know, it's, it's an incredible amount of processing power. The technical advances that we've seen in the drone industry uh, in the last couple of years are really incredible that you know, you're doing things now that you couldn't have imagined a year ago with a drone. And it's a, it's a great field to be in. That's awesome. What, what kind of uh, flight time do you get out of a full charge? So you get about, that comes with? Max, max, best conditions, max flight time, you'll get about 27 minutes. One of the interesting things about this drone, you get more flight time out of a battery if you're flying than if you're hovering. It's so aerodynamic and it's designed for flight. You could squeeze, uh, we've done tests, you squeeze about an extra three minutes out if you're consistently flying in a stable pattern.
That's awesome. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, we got some really cool drone stuff here at CES Unveiled 2017. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to see what's going on. And uh, we certainly appreciate it. And uh, check out blog.app.com to stay current on everything else that's going on here at CES.